Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we'll be looking at our top 10 picks for things to do in Antwerp. So stick with us till the end. Number 1. Antwerp Central Station Did you know Belgium was the first European country to inaugurate a public railway back in the year 1835 and Antwerp played a major role in the infrastructure? The architectural wonder is so abundant that it is hard to describe. The facade features a neo-renaissance style with a touch of art nouveau designed by the famous architect Louis de Consensory. The station stands tall among the world's most beautiful stations. The Antwerp St Central Station is a beacon of grandeur made up with steel, gloss, and marble and is the city's prized possession. The main entrance hall is glazed with its impressive staircase and an ornate station clock. You'll also be greeted by a 43 meter high ceiling designed by Clement van Bogert. The ceilings were specially built high for the smoke coming from the steam engine. Number 2. The Antwerp Zoo Located outside the main city walls in the city center, standing next to the central station, the Antwerp Zoo was built back in 1843, making it the oldest zoo in the world. The zoo was officially listed as the monument in 1983, and the entrance greets you with a beautiful art deco and themed enclosures. The zoo features an Egyptian temple for the elephants and giraffes, a thatched cottage for a koala couple, a Moorish temple for the okapis, and a pink villa for hippopotami. They also have this breeding program that makes it all the more interesting with a variety of creatures from jaguar to marmosets to marmosets and owls. They're proud to claim over 7,000 animals of 950 different species. The zoo takes special care of the animals and they're regarded as one of the best zoos in the world. The zoo also hosts events such as annual fest called the China Lights, which happens on the zoo grounds accompanied by beautiful spectacles of light sculptures that narrates folk tales from China with traditional music and Chinese dances. 3. Ruben's House Ruben is a Flemish artist and you can walk around those halls to take a peek at the life of artists these days. Ruben lived in those corridors for 30 years starting from 1610 to 1640. Ruben personally renovated those walls and made a studio according to his designs and now together with his courtyard this whole structure re resembles an Italian palazzo building. Since his death the building has been through a lot of hands, it has even served as a prison at one time during the French Revolution but in 1937 the city of Antwerp acquired the building and restored it to its days when Ruben owned it. These refurbished homes have the essence of life those days for an influential artist. Now the house features a large number of Ruben's paintings alongside his contemporary arts and students such as Jordans, Bruegel, The Ender, Van Dyck, and much more. Number 4. Plantin Mortis Museum this might be the only museum to be registered as a World Heritage Site. The museum showcases the vibrant and interesting history of the printing industry. This beautiful building was built in the 16th century and it was the house and printing establishment of the most influential book printer known as Christoph Plantin and later owned by son-in-law Jan Mortius. So if you have an interest in books and the history of printing, then this is the place to be. The museum features the history of printing showcasing a series of informative rooms and interactive rooms. They have typographical tools on display, ancient printing presses, authentic manuscripts, and magnificent walls made up of leather. It is a no-brainer that to learn about a nation, we must visit its museums. Number 5. Try the chocolate samples at the Chocolate Nation. Belgium is known for its chocolates all over the world and chocolates play a very important role in their culture. The Chocolate Nation is the place where you can go through the entire process of making chocolate from scratch. You can see how different types of chocolates are made from beans to bars and the process is very exciting as you discover how the fun ways how they're created. The venue has 14 rooms that showcase how chocolates are made from the cacao beans starting from the equatorial plantation towards the Antwerp storage port. The Antwerp storage port is the largest site for cacao beans in the world. You will likely come across your favorite brands here and local chocolate artisans. The place is filled with chocolate and you can sample the chocolates displayed there as well. This is heaven for chocolate lovers. Number 6. The Cathedral of Our Lady Located in the heart of the city's old town, the Cathedral of Our Lady is the tallest building in Antwerp. The building is a whopping 123 meters tall and it's the largest gothic cathedral in the Low Countries with a magnificent bell tower. The construction of this beautiful cathedral took a massive 169 years to build from the year 1352 all the way through until 1521. And many reputed and influential artists have contributed to the project during the construction. The building's exterior is grand and perfectly designed and the interiors are perfectly example of a baroque de decors perfectly created in all their glory. There are seven aisles in total with the works of Antwerp's beloved artist Peter Raoul Rubens. Number 7. Grote Macht Grotemacht makes up the main square located in Antwerp. 
This might be the perfect place to visit a bar or cafe or enjoy the best beer in town, the Belgian beer. This place is one of the best tourist attractions in Antwerp and is an essential place for sightseeing. The market displays majestic buildings of the Flemish Renaissance like the city hall known as stadiums adorned with flags during the 1560s. Grote Markt flaunts its old guild houses, built during the 16th and 17th centuries. Some of these guilds have now even converted into museums that feature folk and, and ethnography museums. The Grote Markt is vibrant throughout the year. Number 8. The Brabo Fountain Antwerp is a unique name. The legend has it that once there was a Roman soldier called Silvius Brabo. He came along and managed to kill the giant. After that, he decapitated the giant's arm and threw it into the river. The famous Antwerp loosely translates to hand throwing. The famous event is carved in bronze known as the Barbo Fountains, sculpted by Jeff Lambeau in 1887. The statue of Silvius Brabo tossing the giant's Druan Antigoon hand in the river. Number 9. The Steen Castle One of the oldest castles in the city dating back to the medieval ages, Steen Castle used to be the fortress controlling the river Scheldt. These steam castles could date back to 645 AD. Most of these castles also served partly as a prison. The entrance greets you with the statue of the Scandinavian god of fertility. The statue is very old and it could date back to the 2nd century when women used to worship the deity for blessings. Steen is a Dutch word for the stone suggesting that it, it is made up of stone. The surrounding features beautiful scenery of the river banks which gives you a sense of tranquility and the view is enriching and picturesque. Number 10 Antwerp's Architecture Hotspot Antwerp used to be the most important merchant port and is the home to some of the most beautiful buildings that shine upon its significance as a former grand position in the world. The Butcher's Hall has a church-like structure and it was built during Antwerp's Gold Age. During the 16th century, the place used to be a meat market with 62 butchers trading every day. The place depicts the beauty of the old Belgian lives. It's a treasure chest for aspiring architects as this place oozes decadent houses in a complete array of styles ranging from the Art Nouveau to Tudor, Neo-Gothic to the Neoclassical. The building has a peculiar structure on top, the result of a challenge presented to Zaha Hadid to transform an old protected fire station. The structure has a mirror-like exterior that bounces light around the port as a reference to Antwerp's most famed diamonds. These were our top 10 places to visit in Antwerp. Comment below if you think we missed anything and we'll add them in our next video. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Give us a like if you think the video deserves it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.